So you can tap on the screen to change the notes. Nice. We, when we started the company, we didn't know uh, how big it will be. We are now a robotics competition which has scaled to 57 countries with uh, 5,300 teams that are competing right now with more than 20,000 children from all over the world. And the beauty of it is half of them are girls. Yeah. Like robotics competitions brought typically 10% girls, 15% girls at most. And when we see 50% of our participants are girls, to me, like that's mission accomplished. So you've had a really incredible 365 days since the last CES, right? That is true. I'd love to get just a quick tour of what's new this year or what kind of features should we be looking at? So I think for us, the biggest thing has been to continue to provide more depth in what we do. So for example, in the last one year, we've launched the product in different regions. And when we localize the product, it's not just pushing the product into the market. Every single piece of content we have, the learning modules, they're all localized in three different languages. Uh, the robots speak the local language. So wow. for a child, when they open the robot, it feels theirs. It feels done, designed for them. So that's been a big area of focus for us in the last year. So we've seen a lot of international growth. So you won't see it on the outside, but yep. it's it's in the software and in the app where the programming exactly. and becoming smarter, I guess you that's might right. say. And then the other thing that we've focused a lot this year, uh, in the past year, has been in uh, features that bring out the depth of programming and what children can do with it. As an example, with the robotics competition now, children can easily collaborate from within the app with each other. So they can share their programs uh, with probably the easiest feature ever, which is they get a four-digit key that I can, they can share in any medium possible, like over Twitter, over email, or text, or anything, and the wow. other person can get their program very easily. Each section of the melody, you can also then loop it several times. So if you want to have that section loop twice, you can tap to loop it, and then you can play the song, and he will start playing, and he will loop this section twice, and then he will move on to the next section of the song. So the app combines loops and sequencing to let you create songs. I believe that you've made a musical chicken. <laughs> right? <laughs> is to use the one the the launcher you can use it just for play and you know as a remote control but you can also program the robot to actually launch balls uh, and this is really good for people to see because yeah. you we just saw something that was completely unrehearsed yeah this is reality it just it found it paired it that yeah. iPad came from over there exactly and I'm gonna touch it one screen and the robots paired and that's we discovered a, it that's another piece and I don't I don't think that should go unnoticed it's just like getting that all the work uh, I agree uh, this this took work this was like VCA the users use, use it probably for a fraction of the time that they use the rest of the app but this is an area where it took a lot of effort from us to really streamline the connection experience um, you know how to discover the robot the colors that match and then finally and the robot connect the robot responds to you that I've connected and now you're ready to play forward yeah so um, so robot has um, these balls that go in here and the robot can be programmed to now load the balls and then launch. So for example, so now balls are launched, so now we can move it forward a little bit. So <laughs> I could be hurt. the left one. Oh. Well, let's launch. We can load the right one. And we can launch. Uh, and you can use it in your program too. So for example, I can build a new program which says when I press, let's say I want to do an accessory and I want to left, I connect this to connect that, and I want to say I want to do it when I press the top button. So you can make it into your programs, or you can do it in just for fun as well. Nice. Cool. Well, it's nice to see the um, maturation of the platform, and um, I've been told by a rumor that something's coming, but we can't talk about it. It's a rumor that I've heard too. <laughs> Congratulations on your success. And, Thank you, uh, Will. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow? Yeah.